Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Goin. In our today's video, we will talk about multiplying fractions. And actually, I have mixed up this video wherein we will multiply fractions, we will multiply fraction by a whole number, and we will multiply mixed numbers. So without further ado, let's do this topic. Now, here are the three examples that we have for this video, and later on, I will give you an activity wherein you will multiply fractions. So by the way guys, before we start, how do we multiply fractions ba? We are multiplying fractions by multiplying the numerator and numerator, denominator and denominator, and then at the end of that, we will express our final answer in lowest terms. So let's try and let's multiply number 1. We are given here 2 over 5 times 6 over 7. Here, the numerators are 2 and 6. Your denominators are 5 and 7. So you will multiply 2 times 6. That is equal to 12. And then as for your denominator, 5 times 7. That is equal to 35. And as you can see, as the product of multiplying your numerator and denominator, we have here the, the new fraction or the product, which is 12 over 35. And after multiplying, you need to think if we can still multiply or sorry, simplify this fraction. And in this case, we don't have the greatest common factor aside from 1, meaning this fraction is already in simplified form. Okay, so let's move on with item number 2. For number 2, we are given a whole number 3 and 2 over 7. So how are we going to do this? First, you will express your whole number as a fraction. This 3 can be expressed as 3 over 1. Remember that guys, huh? Next, copy your origin next fraction times 2 over 7. So we will multiply them. 3 times 2, that is equal to 6. And for your denominator, 1 times 7, that is equal to 7. And as you can see, this is the final answer. We have 6 over 7 because 6 over 7 is already in simplified form. Okay? So let's move on with number 3. In number 3, we have two mixed numbers, 1 and 1 over 2 times 4 and 4 over 7. If you're dealing with mixed numbers, what you need to do, guys, is to convert or to write these mixed numbers into improper fractions. So how do we do that? Now, we will multiply first your denominator by the whole number, which is 1 times 2. Or 2 times 1 that is equal to 2 then plus 1 again 2 times 1 that is equal to 2 plus 1 that is equal to 3 and copy your original denominator meaning the equivalent improper fraction of 1 and 1 half is 3 over 2 again let's have a recap 2 times 1 that is equal to 2 plus 1, that is 3. Then copy your denominator, which is 2. Times, for the next mixed number, we have 7 times 4, that is equal to 28, plus 4, that is equal to 32. And then copy your original denominator. So again, let's try again. 7 times 4 is 28, plus 4, that is equal to 32, over 7. So as you can see, we have two fractions right now, pero improper lang siya. Same process, multiply the numerators. Your 3 times 32, that is equal to how many? The answer is, so we will put it, this here, the answer is 90. 6, okay, over 
For your denominator, we have 2 times 7, which is equal to 14. Now, in this case, okay guys, we need to convert our fraction as a mixed number. So I will use this separate part of the paper to divide 96 and 64, and 96 and 14. So if we have 96 divided by 14, okay, 96 divided by 14 is simply, um, the answer is 6, we have 6, 14, and 96, then 4, uh, 6 times 14, okay, what is 6 times 14? Guys, that is equal to 84. Subtract this, it will give us 12. As you can see, this is your remainder. You have the remainder of 12. Meaning, the converted or the mixed number of this 96 over 14 is, copy your quotient, which, is, which will serve as your whole number, 6. And then, your remainder will serve as the new numerator. We have 12. And then, your divisor will serve as your denominator and as you can see we have 6 and 12 over 14 now guys it's not yet done this 12 over 14 can be simplified by dividing both sides by 2 so this is divided by 2 divided by 2 copy your denominator 6 okay then 12 divided by 2 is 6 over 14 divided by 2, which is equal to 7. Meaning, the answer or the product, when we multiply 1 and 1 half by 4 and 4 over, 4 over 7, that is equal to 6 and 6 over 7. So I hope guys you learned something from this video on how to multiply fraction to fraction, whole number to fraction, mixed number to mixed number. And right now, I will give you a simple or a one item quiz for this video. I want you to multiply these fractions. We have 4 over 5 times 3 over 7. So I hope na may lagay nyo sa ating comment section what is the answer in item number 4. So again, I hope guys you learned something from this video. So, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe, but hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.